for the management information systems. Let's study introduction to information systems. What are the characteristics of information systems? How the data, the knowledge, the information gets transformed to information systems and how the transaction processing systems and MIS contribute to an intelligence working of an organization. So for the management information systems, let's study introduction to information systems. To start with, what are information systems? Information systems contributes with three different parameters. That is, it has technology contributing to it, management, and for an organization, we design and develop an information system. So all these three link together to make an efficient information system. When I talk about technology, it depends on what kind of a system an organization needs to have. So technology plays an important role. Management is how we manage the particular data that is available for the organization with rules and regulations defined so that the information system works perfectly. So information system has three important ingredients into it. That is technology, management, and organization. So for this particular information system, we have to study what is the role of a management information system, information needs of management, conventional information system, that is before the computers came into picture, there were still management information systems working. Okay, they were working with pen and paper on the ledgers, on the registers, but still we had a system which was working. So it was not a very conventional one. It was not a computerized one. It was a traditional information system. So we'll see what are these conventional systems. And as an example, we will study information system in educational institutions. So what is an information? We have lots and lots of data that is available to us. And that data, how does it make sense? How does that data contribute to information? Knowledge is always important. So let's see what is data and how we can extract the information out of it. So data and information is very important as the data that we get and information that we extract. We should know what information do we need? So data and information becomes very crucial as from that data, we need to extract the information. So that information that we've extracted has to be used as a resource. So what we need to do, we need to identify those resources as information will provide us as a resource. So these are the few resources for the types of information that is, we can get our information from books, ebooks, journals, websites, book chapters, recordings, blogs, media, newspaper, journal articles, government documents, images, policies, people's views on Twitter, LinkedIn, guidelines, research publications, some literatures known as gray literatures or white papers, conference proceedings, books, so on and so forth. So wherever we can get information, that can help us for different organizational values to help us build an information system or in the end, a management information system. Why do we need information? The first query that we answered was, what information do we need? And then we answer, why do we need that information? And for that, that why do we need that information? We need to identify the activities that we need to perform. And for that, we need a critical resource. And for the critical resource, we have to list the sequence of activities. So from a regular data that is available to us, if we need to extract the information out of it, we need to answer this question. What information do we need? We need to identify the resources. We need to identify the activities that we need to perform and list the sequence of activities after we have identified the activities so that they can contribute to a important information. Now, what are the different types of information? 
there are descriptive information and there's prescriptive information. Now, what do you mean by the term descriptive information? Whenever we ask a question, what is? Whenever we're asking for something, why do we need it? And what is this particular information? And what should be done with that information? If I've got a data set, then I should be able to define what that data set is all about. And from that data set, what I can extract and what information I'm able to extract to work on. So descriptive is I've got a lot of data, a lot of information in the data set. Prescriptive is when I'm able to do what I need to do and what should be done whether I need to build an intelligent system out of it, whether I need to build a management information system out of it, or whether I'm predicting something, is I should be able to know and tell. So on that information, we do a diagnostic search. So that is known as a diagnostic information. That is what is wrong. We need to identify in the data set that we have what is wrong in that data set. And then we do a predictive information that is, what would happen? So when I have found out that my data set is available and there are a lot of blank spaces into it, so that is wrong. I will not be able to design my system perfectly. So those blank spaces have to be removed. So I have to find out the predictive impact that what would happen if this information is wrong. Now, there's something very important that what are the characteristics of information? It has to be an efficient content. It has to be relevant precise, well-structured, well-illustrated, concise, and complete. So whatever data set that I have or whatever data I have on which I need to design and develop a system. So what you saw in the previous slide is what is wrong if there are blank spaces. So what is happening? My data set is not able to define it perfectly. So it is not well-structured. My data is not able to give me a complete relevant precise and concise information. If you take an example of the students, where I have all the details of the students, but if somewhere the name is missing, the roll numbers is missing, the address is missing, so I will not be able to relate it to that particular student. So the data is not well illustrated and precise and complete. So these are the few characteristics my data should, my information should have. Now, information systems has come into picture to replace the traditional ones. So, there are a few opportunities that we face. Now, what are these opportunities? This is increase the worker productivity, enhance decision making, improve team collaboration, create business partnership and alliances, enhance global competitiveness, and support the corporate strategy. This particular slide is taken from the reference from Dr. S. Loisy Dow's lecture series. So I have shown the reference down. Now, how do I increase the worker productivity? Because I'm able to give more, more and more opportunities when I'm creating different domains of MIS. Decision making increases because the people have to sit and decide what kind of a system how the strategy is going to work, how the logic will be developed, and how the complete thing will flow. When I say it improves the team collaboration, because a system by itself cannot be developed by a single person, so they need to work in a team. Create business partnerships and alliances if a particular organization needs to develop a system and it needs the support of another company or another organization. So that is where the partnerships and alliances will come into picture. Obviously, we need to have a global connect and a corporate strategy and it has an improved quality of goods and services and we have to be really, really in with change in technology. Information security challenges that we have is downsizing, whatever is not needed is removed. Information overloaded is lots and lots of information is there. And that information needs to be sorted out and filtered out. If the employees are not able to perform and if they get a better opportunity, they move 
on the other side of the business to the other clients. So that is one mistress, that is a challenge. Difficult to build if it's a very large system, it becomes very difficult to build. Security breaches, if the security system is not built properly, then we have lots and lots of issues happening. And again, rapidly changing technology. Now, once we've seen the challenges and opportunities, these are the three things which contributes to a management information system, business management, computer science, and technology. So all these three go hand in hand for a management information system. As this particular technology moves ahead and we see how the system is built, let's wait and watch the other part of the video for more detailing of management information system.